Hello folks and welcome here again to Divine Fine Motors and thank you so, so very much for being here. God bless you and your family and I mean that with my whole heart. I hope and pray you're doing well and are blessed and are having a great day or evening wherever you may be and I want to congratulate you on finding this. As most of you know and have known for, gosh, probably about the last 12 years, I just absolutely love these FLSTS Springers. You all know this is the first year, the first one they made. Not the first one. It might be. I don't know. But uh, this gentleman had this bike for 20-some years. He absolutely loved it. He gave me a bunch of nice stuff with it. I mean, uh, some advertisements and gave me a little model uh, Heritage Springer, uh, oh, like an ornament. But uh, anyway, folks, this is one of the nicest ones that I have had in many, many years. He has just said, Jack, I spent $3,500 with Boss Bags, and I've heard of these guys, and shout out to them. These things are absolutely amazing. He said it cost me $3,500 to get the bags done, the seat, the tank bib, and the windshield bag. But I'm telling you what, folks, it is better than what the factory Harley-Davidson's are, and it is a dead replica of them. But, folks, this is one of the nicest 1997 beach white, or the beach white, beach white and red some people like these, some people like the white and blue. I tell you, when I have a red one, I like it the most, and when I have a blue one, I like it the most. I tell you what I love about the birch white and red is it's the, the beautiful little black accent stripe that goes on them. I took, a, uh, I took a white and blue one once and put a black accent stripe over top of the gold just to see what it looked like, and it looked fantastic. But uh, anyway, I, this, this thing, it is probably the nicest paint that I have ever seen on one. It is really, there's not hardly an imperfection on it anywhere. There is not a scratch or a ding or a dent that I could spot anywhere on this motorcycle. I have been all over it. And I tell you what, these are getting harder and harder to find. Every time I start looking for them, and it's crazy the prices that people are wanting for them now. And I probably had a lot to do with that. I've probably at least sold over 100 all over the country or all over the world. I sold them to Iceland, to Korea, just everywhere. By the way, if you're ever looking for a fender tip, and I know the fender tips for these things or the ones that everybody uses, have gone just crazily in price. But that right there is about as good looking a tip as you can put on this thing. This bike has some super nice ads on it too. It's got the, what I call the Kirker exhaust. It's got the uh, Sc Screaming Eagle kit on it. And uh, I tell you folks, this thing is, it's one of the strongest, fastest uh, 80 cubic inch Evo motor that I have been on. This thing is a powerhouse. I have no idea what all's been done to it, but all I can tell you is it runs absolutely amazing. It's got all kinds of power. It's very strong. It's just an awesome, awesome bike. It sounds and looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see, all the spokes and the spoke nuts and everything are just in excellent shape. The same way in the back. Uh, Again, all the paint is just excellent. He said he put a newer tires on it. He said he just did last year uh, put the uh, all the bearings and stuff in the uh, in the neck of it, which is nice. That's a pretty. Uh, it's not a costly job. It's just a time-consuming job. So it's got all new neck bearings in it. He said he has a. I think he said he paid close to two hundred dollars. For a big gel coat battery one of those odyssey batteries as you can see all the fins and the jugs and the cases and the engine all that stuff is just immaculate even underneath this bike is just 
in excellent, excellent condition as well. He's got a nice uh, swing arm, a uh, chrome swing arm cover on this as well, but it is just beautiful. The frame, there's no, uh, there's not even marks underneath the frame on this bike. Of course, this man was very, very wealthy. He uh, big into boats. You can see how nice that back wheel is and the hub and all that stuff too. These exhaust pipes look fantastic. I mean, all around them, just not on top, but uh, the seats and the, it's just a gorgeous bike. I really, really want to keep it. And I'm not saying that I won't decide to keep it, but if you see it and it is still up for sale, you better give me a call. Now, I am not expecting you to pay an exorbitant amount of money for this motorcycle. It's only got 33,500 miles on it. And believe you me, that's nothing for an Evo. And uh, I'm not even taking into consideration that it might have some new insides on it. I don't know. He really, he really was kind of an old fella. He just wasn't real sure about stuff, but he had this bike for 20 years. Uh, but anyway, these bags to paint, the thing sounds and runs fantastic. If you're looking for a great bike, you ought to give me a call and get this one before it goes. I'm gonna fire it up here. saying I'm very very fair on my pricing uh, this guy wanted the fortune for this thing as well I went over we got to meet him and his wife my wife and I went over and talked to him got to go in her beautiful big home super super nice people like I said he uh, he had a bunch of stuff that he gave me oh yeah these saddlebags I noticed I had some these saddlebags have the uh, the lining in them uh, the liner is in the lids, the liner is in the, the uh, sides, and the liner on the bottom. So those lids are going to stay like that pretty much as long as you have it. But uh, i got a t-shirt under there. But anyway, let me see, you can see, uh, I tell you that, shout out to Boss Bags. If you ever want to get your bags done, I think it's well worth the money. I mean, these daggone... Saddlebags and seats and stuff are just outrageous how much people are charging you. But anyway, he gave me this uh, advertisement he had up in his shop. He gave me uh, this, which I promised I would keep. That does not go with it. I told him that's going to be on my Christmas tree. I'm going to go ahead and let you have these. I'll put those in the saddlebag. Those are some cool old ones. But he's got all the keys. got a little compass on this key. He's got a key for that. and He's got a nice Harley Davidson lock that I will include with that purchase as well. And uh, I think he might even have the owner's manual. I'm not sure if he gave that to me or not, but a super nice guy. He was wanting to give me a big uh, undone uh, puzzle. And uh, his wife talked him out of that. She said she wanted it. But folks, here it is. It's as good as you'll ever get one of these. And uh, like I said, I'm not gonna be asking a fortune for it. It's gonna have a very good reserve on it. And if you call me, what I do, I, I'm very, very fair with people. I'll give you a chance to buy that the reserve right now. I can help you get it shipped anywhere in the country, and you could come and ride this thing home anywhere in the country if you wanted. I can also help you get it shipped out of the country, or I can help you get it shipped to the port to get it shipped out of the country. So uh, there you go. Uh, 1997 FLS TS, buddy. Birch, white, and red, it's the, it's the best one. This is, now listen to me, write this down. This is going to be the most collectible motorcycle that Harley-Davidson ever made, bar none. It, there is no 
no doubt about it. It's already highly collectible all over the world. People love them, and there's a reason. They are truly the coolest, nostalgic motorcycle that Harley-Davidson ever produced. And please, when you get it, take care of it. Love on it until you decide to sell it. And if I was you, I would keep it in my family, hand it down to my grandkids, and let it be part of the family. That's what I'm doing with some vets, and I hope to one day have one of these, and this might be mine too. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Be kind to one another. Love on one another, and please read to your children, your grandchildren, your neighbor's children. Tell them how great they are, that they may grow up and feel good and confident about yourself to do great and good things in this world. Thank you again. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.